Hi, welcome to Samsung Judo. Uh, today we're going to recap on what we did on the last uh, series, which was uh, Kata Gym. Uh, we're going to show you what Kata Gym looks like, and then we're going to show you three uh, contest scenarios that Kata Gym can be actually put into good use. using kata hajim in a contest situation. We're going to be doing kata hajim from uki attacking from a forward throw. It's important that I react and avoid uh, uh, Tori's attack, otherwise if I stay around, I will get thrown. So this is what it looks like. As uki attacks, if I avoid, if I'm stepping to one side, my leg moves around and place in front of the full slim down. My hand automatically is in place for the strangle. The thumb is already engaged in the lapel. My left hand comes over the top, take Uki behind the head. I'll take him to the side, push and slide, and they have a very, very effective kata hajim. Uh, we'll just show you another slight variation uh, from kata hajim uh, from the throw. If you've got kata hajim and there is a problem and Nuki is managing to resist and for some reason it's not working, you can add your body weight by sliding all the way up from underneath, just turn your whole body on top. Uh, by putting your body on top, it gives you much more a leverage pressure into the neck and the, and the side, which makes your kata hajim a little bit more powerful. A good, uh, it's a good also uh, indication why I don't like to be on my back. Because if you're on my back, it's very hard for me to get on top. If you're already on your side, it's just a very simple transition on top. And if that doesn't work, you're in a very good position for, for Tatisho Katami, any form of hold down on top. Kata Hajim uh, can work even better when Uki uh, attacks and is much lower uh, in his attack. Uki is very low now, he's done on one leg, uh, with much lower to gravity. The hand is already in place, as you can see here. I've avoided the technique by stepping to the left side. Uki is done on one leg, my hand's already in position, so I don't have to drop so high. The left leg is going to do a almost a 360 degree turn. As I move this way, my hand moves the opposite direction. So we have the crisscross of leverage. My hand goes behind the head and applies kata hajim for a very beautiful strangle. There's a technique exactly the same. We have a high attack and a low attack. What's important is that myself, Toruki, avoids to deflect and absorb Tori's attack. If you don't move out the way, you will get thrown. So your instincts have to be fast so you can deflect uh, Tori's attack. The next situation on Kata Hajim is if Uki has failed the throw again or if you do the Tanawaza. Hook is in a defensive position, so he is, is uh, on his hands and knees. Uh, what we can do is uh, next movement. We'll just show what it looks like. Okay, we'll just show you that again. Very simple uh, kata hajim. It's done by me working my thumb come up, coming into Uki's neck and then getting my thumb into the opposite jacket. Now you will have to work for this because Uki will be protecting himself. 
And the little trick that we do is to wiggle your hand into a little circle here so it works its way in. Once your thumb has contact with the lapel, get your knee on top of Ruki. Uh, Ruki be down as you roll over, your left hand comes under the shoulder, goes behind the head, and you can strangle Ruki in this position. If Ruki tries to get out or is resisting, you can force him over the side, and then you have exactly the same katahajin as the previous techniques. Okay, right side works in. Come very close to Uki, almost slide underneath him. Take control of his hooky shoulder. Put your hand behind the head. Push in one direction, slide another direction. This to create the leverage needed to create the strangle. Okay, we're going to show you one final uh, uh, kata hajin uh, from, uh, from uh, almost an uh, escape from uh, Keza guitar. Okay, what happens here? I fall onto my back. Tori attacks with uh, Keza guitar me. What I need to do is to concentrate on this hand, not to go around my neck. So what I do is deflect the elbow to push onto the side. From here my hand goes over the top and finds my thumb into his lapel. I attack the shoulder by moving upwards, putting the back of my hand, sliding away and using your left foot to control Uki. If you don't use your leg, Uki may try to roll out, which is okay, you're going to still strangle him. But if you can control him and apply kata hajim, very, very effective. The key point here is to not allow Uki or Tori, the attacker, to get his hand around my neck. I need to deflect the hand. His own momentum will force him to go to the ground. That gives me the opportunity to apply kata hajim. We'll just show you one more time. Could be I, I've been knocked down onto the ground and as Uki comes round I deflect the arm across here. Then I go over the top and I trap. And there's the there's the katsahajin. There are many different ways, but we'll just stick to those four uh, at the moment. We want you to go away and practice them like everything in life. You need to practice, 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 and don't forget everything that's done on the left is done on the right. So I hope you enjoy them. Every skill you learn adds to more skills in the future. So thank you very much for watching.